before the show goes up, we get our tattoos put on because we're goths. We get this done twice again throughout the show because it's water based. And so with the lovely weather, we sweat a lot. It's pretty intense. It starts in a very intense place. It, it, it accelerates very quickly to 10, to maximum. It is cinematic. The scale of it is huge and there's so many people. The cast is huge. It's a cast of, what is it? It's about 22, three females, the rest pretty buff men. We use the entire theatre. If you're in the yard, you are part of the play and you are Rome. It's kind of relentless. Someone described it as an action play. <laughs> This stage, I've just really been through it. Um. Our eldest brother is killed straight away as a sacrifice. So throughout the whole play, how we justify it is we think we're avenging his death. They know what they've done is wrong, but they're justifying it. I don't really see how Lavinia could see it any other way than them being pretty evil. I mean, they destroy her. It's quite a quick change, it just all happens in the wings. There's a broken down costume, so I sort of take the clean one off, pop this one on, get all bloodied up with, I think it's it, three types of blood. Yeah, it's like a really nasty congealed one. Some planets strike me down. It is all those things that one would expect from a tragedy. So it is very moving, very gory, very, um, my Bryony, she's just had some Sorry. awful stuff happening to her. Look, here we go. Very gory, <laughs> right on cue. Titus Andronicus was obviously a very popular play in its own time, in the same way as a Tarantino film is popular. Audience reaction has been kind of remarkable. Lots of fainting. I think what Lucy, the director, has done so cleverly is she's really managed to pull out all the dark comic elements as well. What's fantastic is it's filmed from so many angles, and it's not just the action that's being filmed, the audience are being filmed. When I was a kid, I'd much rather go to the cinema than the theatre. Many people can't actually get to the theatre, and if you're able to just get to the cinema and get some taste of it, of the language, of the atmosphere, of the stories and characters, I think it's fantastic. You get to see all the action very, very close. It's like everyone is sitting in the best seats. <laughs> Experience five extraordinary new productions from Shakespeare's Globe at your local cinema. Globe on screen. The Duchess of Melfi, starring Gemma Arterton, Titus Andronicus, Julius Caesar, Antony and Cleopatra, and the Comedy of Errors. Spellbinding performances, an unforgettable cinema experience. For more information, visit globeonscreen.com.